Adrian Wojnarowski is here, and um, the, the, the challenge here, Woj, is to try to take the, the conversation from the hallway and, <laughs> and, and bring it to television right. because there's so many interesting things. The McMullen yeah. article about Kyrie and why he chose to leave. And I just I, I want to try to get to the point that you made to me about how the kind of rules that LeBron created, how he empowered so many, in many ways were used against him for the first time by Kyrie. What do you mean by that? Well, LeBron created the modern blueprint for the star NBA player, uh, empowering them that they have ownership of their careers and a lot of ways of franchi franchises and movement. Now, Car Car uh, Irving was not a free agent. He had two years left on his deal, yet he was able to get himself out from under in Cleveland for a couple reasons. One, he wanted a greater voice in the organization. Two, they all feared LeBron was going to leave in a year. And instead of LeBron dictating terms like he has everywhere else, Kyrie flipped it on him, and he dictated terms and got out first. How much did it shock him? It, it, it absolutely – LeBron used the word blindsided. And – no one had done that to him before. He thought he'd have a chance, the best possible group they could have had, to make one more run at a title this year in Cleveland. And now they're in a situation where they've made the trade. They have this draft pick that LeBron would love for them to move to get another player in that Brooklyn pick, mm -hmm. to get another player in who can help them win this year. And Cleveland's not – it's very unlikely they move that pick because they don't know that LeBron's going to stay.